template from the server, creating a new document for a student, editing the document, saving the document, placing it on the server uh, to be edited by others, and then finally submitting. Okay. The first thing that we need to do uh, in order to get the process started is check to see whether or not we're connected to the staff server. You can check to see if you're in the staff server by going down to your finder window opening it up and looking on the shared section. Underneath the shared section here you would have the staff server listed if you are connected. I am not currently connected so I need to connect to the server. Okay, I'll close my finder window. I'll click somewhere in my desktop to make sure I have my finder options at the top. I click go. I scroll down to connect to server and then up in the server address I need to have this address listed. Uh, on some of your machines it may be saved um, but you can always uh, clear it out and type a new one. Okay, so once I have uh, AFP colon backslash backslash uh, staff dot three lakes SD dot K12 dot WI dot US, once I have that typed in there, I click connect. It'll connect to the server. You'll be prompted for your username and password. Uh, it's the regular username and password you use to log on to the computer. Uh, if you're Username and password does not work for some reason. Uh, please contact me and we'll get that resolved. Uh, but I'll type in my password now. You can click remember this password in my keychain so you don't need to enter your password again. Um, I'm going to leave it blank uh, for me. But I click connect. And now I have some choices that pop up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click home folders. And when I click on home folders, uh, I am taken to what the home folders look like on the staff server. Notice on the side here I have staff and with a little eject button next to it. So now I'm connected to the server. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just use um, the, the Sugar Camp uh, teachers as an example here. I'm going to go into their folders. Uh, over here on the side I have um, SC report cards created. And in here I have uh, SC report card templates. Alright, so I have my templates uh, available here. I'm going to go in and uh, grab a template right away. I'm just going to grab uh, kindergarten. If I am a kindergarten teacher, I'm going to take my template. I'm going to drag it from the server to my desktop and let it go. I now have a template on my desktop that I can uh, use to create other files. The templates on the server uh, do not uh, go anywhere. They stay right there and they um, are not editable. So you don't have to worry about messing up the template. All right, so I'm going to close this for now. Okay, I have my template on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it my grade level, so kindergarten. Okay, maybe uh, report cards. And I'm going to use that folder later. So now that I have a folder created. Uh, to create a new file, I just double click on my template. And here I have um, my, my templates. And I have another document that popped up here before. Excuse me. Uh, I have my template right here. Uh, this is the Sugar Camp uh, Elementary uh, template for kindergarten. Notice at the top, the name is document one. Okay, the document opens by default as a generic document, uh, not as the previously saved template. So, to create the template for, or the report card for one of my students, I would click in the name box, double click, and I will type in the student's name. Uh, we will call the student uh, you know, Jane Doe. Okay, once I have the name typed in, um, I can click out of the box and that's set. Um, once I'm in the document, I'm, f I'm free to edit, uh, move around uh, in the tables that are here. Um, maybe I'll give Jane a 4 in, in reading um, and uh, a plus underneath capital letters. Okay, Maybe a minus for associated uh, sounds with letters um, and so forth. And I can edit this however I want. Uh, same thing happens on page 2 and lastly for the comments on page 3. So however you edit the document, um, it, it's just like using a regular Word document. All right, let's say I'm either done with the document or done working with it for today. What I want to do is I want to create this student file here. So I'm going to go File, 
I'm going to go save as. Oh, looks like I went off screen here. I'm going to go file. I want to go save as. And as I do that, my documents uh, saving options pop up. Okay. If you see, for instance, this for saving a document, uh, click the down arrow to get more options. Okay. I want to save this document on my desktop. I want to save it underneath my kindergarten report card folder that I just made. And I want to make sure to save this format as a .doc. Okay, the .doc will mean means that I can use this on an older version of Word as well. So I'll click .doc. My name okay, is going to be the last name of my student, which was Doe, underscore, first name, Jane, underscore, the grade that they are in, K. All right. So I have Doe, underscore, Jane, underscore, K. When I click Save, the document will be saved. And notice the name at the top is Doe, Jane, K. Okay, that DOC. Now I can close this document um, and come back to it, or if I'm done with it, I could just close it and be done with it. So I'll click the X here. Now notice underneath my kindergarten folder, I have Dojin. If I want to create a second one, I double click on the, the folder again. I have my blank template, nothing's listed here. I double click in my text box. This one we'll call, um, you know, Jerry, Jerry Doe. Okay, and I can do the same thing for Jerry Doe. I go File, Save As. I'm gonna go Kindergarten RC Perfect. I want to create a um, D dot DOC. My name is gonna be Doe underscore Jerry underscore K. I'm gonna go ahead and click Save, and my document will save and be there. Okay, so I had, and then here in my folder, it represents um, my created uh, files. Now I can go a step further than this, and I can edit Jane again. If I open up Jane's file here, this is the work that I already did. Okay, if I add more, let's say I add some more pluses in this column, maybe a minus or you know another plus, and finally another plus. When I save this time, I want to save just file and save. Only save as when you're creating a document for the first time. So I'll click save. The file will save. I'll close it. Let's say I open it again. And here I have my edits that I've done. Okay. So let's assume that you have your whole folder full of all your students and you've worked on uh, your files. Now, when all of your report cards are entered in here and all the stuff you need is done, okay, you need to make sure that the file or files end up on the server. Okay, so I'm going to close my folder. So inside this folder, okay, are all the files uh, that I need to put on the server. So I'm going to go back to the server. Okay, I can go Finder. And then I can go staff, home folders, sugar camp, sugar camp report cards. And inside here, all right, I'm going to go ahead and drag this kindergarten RC right inside. Okay. Now, what I've done is I have a copy on my desktop and I have a copy in the server. Everything that I've done is transferred right here to the server. Once it's on the server, when you're completed, it's accessible um, by other teachers and also by um, our, our secretary so that they can run the reports. And this is going to be where they access the report cards to print. Okay. Now, once you have everything set and your files are created, you can go ahead and put the, 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 the folder on the server. And at that point in time, uh, if you're special, teachers have contacted you or special ed teachers have contacted you uh, that they're gonna make comments or add grades um, this is where they would access these files okay uh, they would access these files by coming to the server clicking on your folder and then dragging the individual files to their desktop opening it up editing what their part of it maybe adding some comments here you know, the, you know this is a comment Okay, they would go file, save, 
they would close a document and then they would locate the file on the server so staff again home folders SC teachers report cards can you see and then they would drag it on top they'll be asked to replace it at that point in time and you'll click replace because you have the newest version available here so click replace it'll go on there and there will be the updated version of Jerry's um, report card okay at this point um, if you have all your report cards done in the Word documents and you have put it on the server you are all set to go with the um, second and third fourth pages of the report card depending on how many you have uh, the only thing else you have to do is make sure that your power school stuff is, is updated. And uh, for questions on that, uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, you know, give me an email or let me know. All right, thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day.